It's Madden NFL 24, and all eyes are on Javante Williams. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Broncos and the Patriots under the lights on Sunday night. Thank you. On a cold night at the foot of the Rockies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Denver Broncos. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. A happy Christmas Eve to all. What a good one we have in store as we are underway here in week 16. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Wilson going to come out throwing. Short throw caught by Dulcich. And he'll get this up to the 34. Play action. Now Wilson. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Now Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Now Wilson on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. And that huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Screenplay set up for Williams. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. To throw is Wilson. This is going to be incomplete. They start on the ground with Elliott. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there. And it's happy to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. A first down carry by Elliott. And they get to him after a gain of six. Here's Zappi. They begin the drive with Williams. The numbers for Williams a week ago. Definitely another gear there, and hopefully their game plan gives him an opportunity to hit it and put together one of his best performances of the season. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Wilson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. That was a nice play right there, but overall this season, it's been an absolute disaster. Stowns have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Here's Wilson. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. This is caught inside the 15. Hamler, the motion man left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. Followed by a sizable loss here. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Wilson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Christian Gonzalez. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Fights forward for only about a yard. Off the fake, Zappi. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. It got his man complete. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Right. 
Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's to the right sideline. Love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has enough for the first. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And boy, this defense again really making things tough. Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Wilson. And that is incomplete. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Takes it to about the 37. On second down, it's Stevenson. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to get it back here. No question about it, partner. We've seen this before. You've got an offense that doesn't have any points yet. Go out and make a play on D. Then you head back to the sideline saying, we got you the football. Carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now Wilson. Open man, Hamler, that's complete. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Throwing again on second down. Sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Zappi looks to throw it. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. Zappi on third down. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And oh, he's just going to be short. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Looking to throw, Zappi. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Second down, Elliott. And a good burst there, gets him seven. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. Dashing through the snow. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now Wilson on second down. And yeah, that's incomplete. These teams, everything they're doing has been executed well. Now it's Wilson. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So they do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Inside give to Elliott. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Zappi back to throw. And going for Howard, but the pass intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And, the and instead created a second one. Throwing is Wilson. And that is incomplete. Now it's Wilson. And an incomplete pass. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. 
Patrick Sertan, the all-pro corner, up to make the tackle. Zappi. Got a man. It's Kayshawn Butte. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. And this is taken in at the five. And he's down inside the five at the five. Offensively, offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot pressure comes and Wilson's gonna go down it's tough because this this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now they really are they are on their toes and they're getting at them okay Brandon thanks very much welcome in everyone to our EA Sports halftime report let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Alvin Kamara, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, we'll head east, all the way to the Still City, to check on the Steelers at home in Pittsburgh. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Mixon, what a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. And lastly, we'll all be tuned in on Monday night for what should be a great one between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. The big story thus far has really been the snow. It's made footing treacherous. And if the forecast holds, it's only going to get worse. But I can tell you as a fan, these are the games you love to watch. Mountain snow looks like it's going to continue through the second half as we are back underway in Denver. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. His throw incomplete. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And that'll hurt the average a bit. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. Oh, some strong running. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. One big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That's going to be caught by Judy. On the 28-yard line, here's second and six. To throw is Wilson. He's got it to Williams. And he's brought down at the 24. Desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Touchdown, Broncos! They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Stevenson now on first and ten. And this winds up a gain of four. And Zappi to throw. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. On second down, this is Jackson. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. They'll run again with Jackson. And he's in. Touchdown. 
Patriots. His second rushing touchdown on the campaign. Someone on the defensive side of the ball. leader, right? To make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. We watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker. It's offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Now Wilson. Got his man. It's Dulcich. Here's Wilson to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack. Up the middle. Here's Elliott. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Toss play to Jackson. And he's stopped after a gain of one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Now Zappi will go to the air. Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. Zappi from the gun. And that is incomplete. This might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. On first down, Wilson. Dancing to his left, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage. Game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage. Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. What to dial up. On third down, Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And all inside the 15 the victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit this one tough they need nine yards on third down and he's got his man in stride complete and the broncos are going to have first and goal Williams is into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. And oh, it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. Uh, during that run, an injury here. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is secured by the Patriots. The risk-reward of the onside kick when you don't get it. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. On first down, here's Zappi. Gets this complete to Butte. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Holding offense. 
On second down, it's Stevenson. On the draw, it's Jackson. And his kick is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, and while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. He's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throwing again here, Wilson. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for Wilson. It's caught on the right side. Williams. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. The Patriots in the victory formation. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it's never easy to come into Denver to win. You think all you have to deal with with the altitude, but they got the job done. Well, there's a reason Olympic athletes train nearby. All right, they've got a terrific training center in Colorado Springs. You train at the altitude, the lungs expand, you go down to the regular. Oh, my goodness, they can go all day.